Well, number 26 says that um, some people take a trip and it's 560 miles. Okay. And they spend two more hours on the interstate. Does it tell us how long they were on the interstate? Does it tell us how long they were on the local highways? No. Only thing it tells us is that they spent two more hours on the interstate. So the interstate, they spent two more hours, and on the local highway, they didn't tell us. So we could say that the local roads, they spent X number of hours, and then whatever that is, they spent two more hours on the interstate. And it says that on the local highways, they traveled at a rate of 45 miles per hour. So their distance that they travel would be like 45 times X. Um, and then on the interstate, they traveled at 55 miles per hour. And again, they traveled a total distance of 560 miles. Okay. So let's read it again to double check and make sure we did everything properly. It says on their 560 trip, the Bruins basketball team spent two more hours on the highway, the interstate highway, than they did on local highways. They averaged 45 miles per hour on local highways and 55 miles per hour on interstate highways. How many hours did they travel? Well, 45x. So we push this 55 through and I get 55x plus 110 is equal to 560 miles. Right? So I get, uh, what's 45 plus 55? Isn't that 100? Plus 110 is equal to 560 miles. So if you subtract 110 from both sides, these cancel and I get 100x is equal to, what was that, 450? Yeah. Or x is equal to 4.5. Now what does the 4.5 mean? I rattled off a bunch of stuff and did some equations and solved for x, but what does it mean? What was the question and what does this mean? How many hours did they travel what? On local highways. How many hours did they travel total? I'd have to plug the 4.5 in, but what was the question they asked us? How many hours did they spend on local highways? Which is 4.5 hours, okay? So on the ACT, they might ask you how long did they spend on the road total? And you go through all this work and you're excited because you see option number B is 4.5 hours and that's what you got when you solve for X. But if they ask the question, how long were they on the road total, what would you have to do? You'd have to plug this into here and then plug it into here and add those two up because that's how much time they spent on the road total. So you always want to, when you get your answer, go back and reread the question and make sure that you're answering the question they're asking you.